Hello everyone and welcome to the English Teacher's Guide to Everything You Need to Know About the Poem Ozymandias by Shelley. The idea of this is to give you all the top mark information you need as quickly as possible without wasting your time. So here is the poem itself. Obviously there's no need for us to read it out because you've really read this and analysed it yourselves. So let's move on making sure you've got your full mark analysis. So the basic meaning, Ozymandias is a sonnet written by the English romantic poet Percy Shelley, first generation romantic. And the poem explores the fate of history and ravages of time. The all prominent figures and their empires that they build are temporary and their legacies will eventually decay into oblivion. Now, contextually, Ozymandias was a Greek name for the Egyptian pharaoh Ramesses II, which literally translated means king of the air. There's a kind of arrogant idea here that they are king of everything, which again is somewhat ironic when we look at the fact that they are forgotten in this poem. It's written by Shelley in a collection in 1819, and it was inspired by the unearthing of a large statue of the pharaoh. The Egyptian pharaohs, like Ramesses, believed themselves to be gods in mortal form, and that their legacy would last forever. So the reference to the stone statue is likely to be a direct reference to the statues and sculptures like the ones which were unearthed, which the ancient Egyptians themselves had made, obviously, to, as a symbol of their eternal power. Let's move on, shall we? In terms of form, this is a sonnet. And sonnets are usually used to express love or admiration for something or someone. However, in this poem, Shelley is using the form ironically, as there is no one around to admire or love the broken statue in the desert. Referencing the fact that knowledge of the statue is a third-hand information, which we gain, it helps to reinforce the view that Ozymandias clearly does not hold the influence he would have wished. The desert setting is a metaphor for the grains of time, which reflects the notion that with time we all become forgotten and our power weakens. Structurally, some lines are split by full stops, which breaks the general kind of meter of the poem. This is obviously symbolic of the broken statue himself. The poem is written in loose summit pentameter, which again highlights the decaying statue. So the more you go into the com components of writing a sonnet, the cleverer this poem seems to be. Then the exclamative used in line 11 gives off a strong and authoritative tone, which again highlights the irony as nobody's listening or there to see the statue. A couple of linguistic points, obviously, the shattered visage, uh, the broken face is unrecognisable, especially as someone who can no longer tell who or the purpose anymore. Cold command sneer suggests that Ozymandias' character was powerful and arrogant, which again is ironic, as there's now no one left to listen to that message. Colossal, meaning vast or huge, is a metaphor for his ego rather than perhaps the statue himself. And then finally, the sands stretch far away, the low and level sands outlast the statue, juxtaposed to the power and ego of the statue. Therefore, we're suggesting, like all romantic poets, the power of nature and God will ultimately rule over all. So thank you very much. Make sure you've got his notes added to your own analysis, and good luck.